hey y'all it's your girl so this company i'm about to rocks with them once again you guys know i like to work with the same company because it gives me like i feel you know what when i work with the same company especially if i like them well if i don't like you i'm not gonna work with you again but when i work with the same company it gives me confidence okay confidence so stay tuned for the video you guys i hope you enjoy it there's nothing like chilling with my girls just me and my divas taking over the world I'm gonna be using this dark and lovely hair dye. This is the lightest color. It does come with like an activator or a processor or bleach. I think it's bleach and envelope. And I'm also gonna be using the Revlon Color Silk and the Ash Blonde, like the lightest, lightest Ash Blonde, I think it's called. So this is the packet that I was talking about that comes with the dark and lovely. This is just the bleach. I do believe it's bleach because it's powder. You know what I'm saying? So, okay. So anyway, I'm gonna just pour that in the mixing bottle that has the developer in it. I think that's developer in that bottle, you know what I mean? Anyway, so I'm going to use that, or it's some type of cream, I don't know. And I'm going to use this here that also came in the box. Let me tell y'all, I always use this dark and lovely color. I, like, I've used it in, like, a lot of different videos. Um, and each hair color will come out different, so it'll never look blonde, like, on the box that you get. So it'll take several several attempts to get it like that and I don't really want that color anyway so I just go with the first shade it comes with so I did buy three boxes just because it's thick hair and I'm going to be using just two to start with because you know I don't really want to waste it I, don't, I would hate to just open three and I really don't need it so I'm going to just use the two for right now and I'm just going to shake those up and then I'm just going to pour them in my mixing bowl so Ion Hair I have worked with them several times and I actually do really like their wigs they have really great wigs they're affordable they look natural you don't have no issues with them so I do like the quality of their hair I did bleach this prior to this video. I bleached the knots of it and I pre-plucked the hairline of this unit also. And um, when, I pre when I bleached it, I left the purple shampoo on the actual lace for like three hours because if you let it sit for like two to three hours, it will definitely take all the brassiness out of any type of bleaching. So that is what I do and it didn't come out brassy, especially, you know, the knotted roots. So I'm just going to brush through it. You know, you want to make sure that all of the product that you're putting in the hair is evenly distributed and it gets through the entire hair with the saturation. So as you guys see, I am running low on the two bottles. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the third bottle of the Dark and Lovely. And we're just going to mix that up real quick. And we are just going to use the rest of this. And, you know, basically we are going to color the hair and once I have finished coloring it with the dark and lovely because I actually do like the dark and lovely I mean you could use bleach too but I just sometimes I like to switch it back and forth and that's just what I do so I've actually went ahead and saturated the entire unit I try not to bleach or just actually color the um, roots but you know I ended up coloring them with the Revlon so this is the Revlon color silk it's two dollars and ninety seven cents at Walmart I love this stuff you know I'm just gonna go ahead and use it on top of the dark and lovely because it will make it lighter I have done this before if you use that Revlon color silk by itself it's really not going to lift the color as much as dark and lovely would that's why I use the dark and lovely box dye because it lifts way better than Revlon color silk um, but if you use both of them together you'll get an even lighter color. So I just used one box of the Revlon and I'm just gonna wrap it up in the plastic for like 45 minutes and then, you know, our hour. And then this is the finished final look of the hair and you guys will see the rest of the video. Bam, bam, bam. I did do a video for them last month and this time around, I'm going to do a different hair texture from them. I've never done this one by them, but they have like some really nice wigs. So big shout out to Selena at Eon Hair. So first of all, you guys, if you're wondering about the hair bonnet or their head wrap, I will definitely post the information below. This is Kishi Culture. I've done a video review on their head wraps before, but they also have bonnets now. You know what I mean? Self-made, handmade, 
head wraps. And also from one of my divas on the YouTube um, who sent me this. Um, I think this is like a dress, but a girl um, is too thick to be wearing it as a dress because it will definitely like don't if don't mind the um the thing here that's my but yeah it's kind of too short for a dress so i definitely will wear it as a shirt with my leggings because i'm loving it so it kind of like goes together it looks really really cute you know what i'm saying i like it basically i wanted to test out their wigs because i did um color another wig of theirs but i didn't really want to test the wig out i really wanted to test the hair texture out because it's kinky straight and you know like if you do too much to kinky straight hair you will have yourself silky straight tangled silky straight like it will change the texture in a whole trust me i've already been there with this wig that i absolutely loved it was like this really nice sand color you know and then once i flat iron that sucker like after months and months of wear of it it does not work the same it don't it just don't it just don't work the same so um i wanted to change this one i wanted to try it out so i went ahead and dyed it so this is the color that she came out and i put some um wand curls in her Okay, so you guys know kinky straight hair is kinky straight. Like, it's thick, but it can be a little bit more time-consuming to get it super straight. So, I always use a hot comb. This time around, I did not use coconut oil. I used this, which is a straightener for curly hair. It's infused with argan oil, so it's just straight silk. Um, solution Simplified, and this is what I use. I really do think, like, this would be great for people who use silk press um, or who like to get silk press. So... I think this is really great for it because it does give other instructions on the back of it, like, you know, sealing the cuticles. And I do know that when you get a silk press, you know, that's what you got to do. But this did make it straight super fast without it getting, like, too greasy. And the color came out great. Um, I really didn't want to color the roots so much, but by... By chance, I just did by accident. I did put the elastic band in it today. It does come with an elastic band. I think it came with these two combs too that was in there if I had the right ones. Um, and then it just has the adjustable strap and then the combs, you know, three combs in the front and then the comb and adjustable strap in the back. Let's just get into this. So you guys already know the drill. You want to make sure that your hairline is clean from any kind of makeups, oils, dirt, or debris. And just go ahead and put your wig on. I'm going to make sure that it fits properly because, you know, sometimes they be a little bit long on the side. And you may have to cut a little bit off. So I'm going to go ahead and clip my ear, my hair up because the, the, the lace was over my ear like it was flapped over my ear. And you definitely want to make sure that you have a proper fit so that way your wig will lay right. So you want to go ahead and take your comb. And I'm just going to take this piece and just cut around it because I do with my sideburns and I'm just going to cut off the piece that you know was actually flapping cut me some sideburns use me of some of this got to be glam force gel that I absolutely love like I really do like this stuff it holds girl it be working and I'm just going to use that and I'm going to brush down my sideburns and I'm just going to brush me in some wispy hairs they're not baby hairs honey they're wispy hairs because they're not going to be stuck to my face and I don't have a bunch of them it's just a little bit of camouflaging even though this wig came out perfect Perfect. There's no knots in it. You know what I'm saying? I think I did a damn good job. Plus, I'm going to also use this Got To Be Glam Force 48 Hour Holding Spray, which is bomb as heck. Like, this stuff keeps my wigs on for like two to three days. Y'all know I love me some Pump It Up, but this is even easier because it's in the aerosol can. So, you know, if you can find this product, definitely pick it up. I bought like six cans of them from the Dollar Tree. Yes, the Dollar Tree, honey, and I wish I would have bought more. Um, because I ate none. So I just go ahead and use my blow dryer to dry the products in my hair, which was the hairspray. And I just used my toothbrush or rat tail comb to press it down. You know what I mean? That's basically it. Simple, you know, easy breezy. And my wig is stuck. Now to cut those wispy hairs because you don't want them too long, but you don't want them too short. And just take your little toothbrush and just brush them back. You don't need any product on the toothbrush. You just want to go ahead and brush it back. So that way it's not stuck to your skin. But if you want that stuck to your skin look, then girl, go ahead and gel it down, boo. I ain't mad at you. Now, as for the got to be gel right here, I'm just taking a tiny little dot and I'm placing it on the root of the hair, not the actual wispy hair, but the root of it because I didn't want to hold things stuck to my face. And I'm saying like the hair came out really pretty. It's long. I did spray a little bit too much of that argon oil spray that was going from that makes your hair straight. But you know, it's easy washable. A girl is happy. She was listening to her iPod music and you know 
Hey, singing a little bit Mary J. Blige, you know, feeling myself, feeling myself. So look at them edges, boo. I'm saying like, look at them. Mesmerize yourself because it came out really nice. I will say that. So myself and I'll post all the information. So let's get back into this video. So I do like it like this all out and stuff, but I think I'm going to spray a little bit too much of this stuff in it. So it kind of looks a little bit greasy in some spots, not all over, but I think like you don't need to spray a lot of that. Um, you really do need to use that when the hair is damp, but the hair was dry when I used it. So, you know, I did spray a little bit of water on it, but it really didn't help much. And being that this is kinky straight hair, you really don't want to put a lot of product to it because it will weigh it down. So because it's um, a little bit oily to me because of the hairspray, because it has Oregon oil in it, I'm just going to um, put it up in a bun anyway because I just wanted to see what it looked like. So let's just do that real quick. So normally what I do when I do um, decide to do a ponytail and kinky straight hair is I will blow dry, excuse me, I will hot comb the entire back um, and allow it to all lay flat like I will hot comb it upside down. But being that I wasn't going to be really prepared for that video, I didn't do that. But anyway, so take you a, a, um, a hair tie. I just get these headbands and I just pop them open and wrap it around because it makes life easier. And you see my little cutie come through, my grandson, Tinky Man, okay? He said, hey, you guys. So this is what the ponytail looked like, and I thought it came out rather cute for the hair. The hair color is bomb. Like, I do like this hair color on me a lot. You know, I was feeling myself. I'm saying, like, look, girl, please. You know, if you feel like you you looking cute, think ahead. And now I'm going to go ahead and make me a bun, hon, and I'm just going to twist it up. But why did my bun just keep coming out lopsided? Okay, you guys, so I don't know why my bun keeps coming out lopsided, but at this point in the game, I don't even care anymore. I just gave up on this bun coming out, right? The hair is really nice. Like, seriously, it's really nice hair i do like it up like this in a bun because it's just easier and breathable but you know you just see me with it on a ponytail so you know so check out eon ion wigs i will definitely post all the information for you guys below um what do y'all think about the color did it come out good like does it look brassy i even put in some of the purple shampoo if i forgot to mention that i did use the sally beauty supply store shimmer lights which is comparable to sh the real shimmer lights so i used their purple shampoo they also have a line of like conditioners too but i do like their purple shampoo and um it does say to put it on once and then rinse it right out and then put it right back on and leave it on for like 10 oh excuse me like three minutes and that's for so it doesn't get brassy i leave that sucker on for like three hours like sitting because it will really take the brassy out of the roots. So that's how my roots came out like really light like this because I had it on, you know, the lace portion for a really long time, normal than longer than it is rec recommended. So yeah, this, this bun is like really pissing me off because it just needs to be in the middle of my head. Like got me looking all lopsided and stuff but anyway check out ion hair i'll post the information below this is the, the um the kinky straight 18 inches um i forgot i think it's like 180 density it has as a lace pencil and i will post the information for you down below you guys i've lost my mind so i gotta go i love you stay deep and deep delicious make sure you rate comment subscribe Thumbs this video up. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you guys in soon's video.